Oh, hello there. I wanted to record a short video on editing a template. First, if you're new to Canva, you need to sign up for an, a free Canva account using your Google, Facebook, or any email account. This is the template that you will get after purchase, and we will use the first page of this template to demonstrate how to edit. So here, you can change all of this. You can change the title, you can change the date, you can change the photo, you can even change the background. So in changing that, it's easy, actually. So. Click here, change the title, you can change this, you can change this. If you want to change the photo, you delete it. You can choose to delete the image or choose to delete everything. If you delete the image, you delete the photo and the frame is still there. If you choose to delete the frame, then all of this will be gone. So if you want to insert a photo, you can choose, like I've chosen this photo now, and I can actually just insert it here. You can also upload your own photos by, by choosing uploads, and then upload files and upload your own photo. And that's the way, once it's uploaded here, you can just click it and drag it here. Or once you click it, it's automatically on here. And then insert it into the frame. If you also notice, there are some bottom buttons at the top of the page. You can use this button to duplicate a page, which means you copy the exact same page as page 2. Or you can add a blank page if you click the Add Page button if you notice now these buttons is to move a page whether up or down so if you want page one to be page two you can click this and move it down and after oh remember that in canva like all of your changes are automatically saved so I recommend that before you edit the file, you actually make a copy. Like if you notice, I'm using a copy of the file. And for you to make a copy, you go on the left-hand side, you click File, and click Make a Copy. And make sure that you use the copy to actually make the changes that you want. That is, if you want to keep the original file so that you have something to go back to just in case. Now, after you've made all of your edits, well, before that, if you want to see the link, we can go to the table of contents, which is on page three. If you notice, if, if a text is underlined, it means that it's linked. So if you click Hello Bonf and click go to page, it will actually take you to day one. If you click the home icon on the top left hand side and click go to page, it will bring you back to the table of contents. And all of these hyperlinks, they are actually changeable. So if you want to change the link here, you can just click the text, click the link, and enter a new link that you want. Now, after you made all of the changes, what you can do is to save it or to actually click share, download the file. I recommend that you download it. I always use just PNG standard. It's actually, you can use the PDF standard as it says here for printing the document and for emailing. So I actually click PDF standard and then download it.
And that copy that you download on your computer, you can use it to actually print, it, print the file. Or I recommend for best results, you just send it as an email to all of your travel companions. That way you have the itinerary. Um, that you share the itinerary with them and everybody is in the know. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps. Thank you.